So I wanted to go over a little bit about how to add custom um, wallpaper and graphic images. I have um, opened the script editor on this instrument. And um, after the make perf view command, um, I've got this set control par string. Um, this is straight out of the um, uh, KSP reference manual. Nothing fancy going on here at all. Um, uh, if you don't know about that manual um, and you're thinking about writing some instruments and getting into some scripting, um, highly recommend it. Uh, I will actually open up my copy here real quick and just show you. Yeah, so um, what do we've got here? Um, instrument wallpaper ID. Okay, so um, yeah, this just comes straight out of the KSP reference manual. So yeah, um, nothing nothing fancy going on here. Um, I will need to um, put the name of the file that I'm going to use. Um, I took a picture on my cell phone and um, imported it, saved it as a PNG. Um, and I've called that um, symbol. Uh, I'm going to also import an image to use um, for the logo here. Um, and then I've set uh, some other pretty standard stuff of the um, height and width of the user interface. I've declared some um, sliders uh, rather than knobs. So um, I can bring in a custom image and use that to control some of the effects that I'm going to use on this instrument. Now, a lot of this for me is almost like a template because I, I happen to use some of the same things often enough um, that it makes sense for me. Um, reverb, delay, um, delay time, th that's just pretty standard stuff that I like to have on any instrument. Um, and uh, so therefore, I also have, um, let me go to Finder and um, I have a folder with a lot of resources that I will use um, frequently. Uh, here we go. Uh, so like these these types of knobs and um, logos and buttons and things um, that I'll just keep in one place that, I, that if I need to use them, I can bring them into a resource, resources folder really quickly. Um, so if I go to this instrument, um, symbols and resources, um, well, let me back up. What happens? Um, is I'll go to instrument options and contact and um, click create. Uh, the first time I'll do that, if there are no resources um, structure there, um, it'll tell me, hey, there's nothing there. Do you want me to create this? And you'll say yes. Um, uh, if I add files to that resources folder, then I need to go through this process again. Uh, name the resources, the NKR file, and uh, and then save it. It's going to ask if I really want to replace it, and I do. And um, so now it's telling me what's in that resources container. Um, no scripts, no IR files. Um, I've got five pictures. Okay, And in order for contact to see those pictures in um, my resources folder. Um, let me go back to Finder. Um, there needs to be a corresponding text file that's named exactly the same, except the extension is text. Uh, and then some of the information um, will need to also correspond. So symbol, this is my wallpaper. Uh, there is no alpha channel, there is no um, animations, but something like a knob um, or slider for that matter. 
uh, is going to have several animations um, that take us through every state of that button. Okay. Um, so in that text file, it tells you, yeah, okay, I've got an alpha channel, 31 animations. Um, one thing that needs to be there is a blank space after um, the file type. Um, file type? Well, type, whatever that is. Um, if that blank space is not there, the text, uh, sorry, the um, um, picture file will not load. You will not get an error message. And um, yeah, there you go. Um, okay, so I have recreated my resources container. Contact told me what is in that container. And then I need to apply that through the script. Um, my knobs are now showing up. They should be working, right? Um, you know, I had done this before, but okay. My, my logo is in place. And um, when I go, um, all right, so this is my first time. That, there's my image. That's not exactly what I was thinking I would see there. Um, but, you know, that is actually because I have just used um, uh, the cell phone image itself um, right from my cell phone um, to contact. So, you know, really what I need to do is um, go to something like um, Canva. Um, I think you can actually resize in um, um, preview. Um, so I'll just hit create a design and um, custom dimensions. I think that was, I think I did 800 by 300, but I'm just going to do 800 um, by 400. Um, create new design. And then, you know, this isn't a Canva um, tutorial, but this is just, um, yeah, really helpful to do this kind of stuff. Um, so let me upload this image. I think I've got a copy it on my desktop, fortunately. Yep, there it is. That's the image there. And um, yeah, so now I can drop that in. Um, if I drop it the right way, it will actually, um, there we go, fill up the whole image. All right, that, that's good. And then I can, you know, obviously design it a little bit more and um, put some text on. I didn't realize I was going to do all of this for this video, but here we are. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call this instrument yet, but um, I'll just give it some kind of name for now. And um, let's make that a little bigger so you can see it. And... I guess black looks good. I don't uh, need a different font. And um, let's get that resized a little bit to fit. Um, gosh, I hope that's big enough. That's sarcasm. OK. Symbols. You know, I like to get really creative these titles. Um, okay, not here all day to do that. But anyway, let me um, download that as a PNG. And this will actually let me walk through the resources folder one more time. This is going to come straight to my downloads. And um, um, I'll need to re-import this fine graphic image. Um, so I'll go to, um, well, I need to let me slow down a little bit. Um, I need to move this real quick. Downloads. This is that. All right. So this is going to go to our resources folder. Um, nope. No, 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 no. Uh, here we go. Here. Okay. 
That one was named symbols, which is good. Um, let me change that so that my script will pick it up. All right, so that's good. So now I'm going to go back to instrument options, create, make sure that I've got the name right, um, save it, replace. Still have five images in there. That's good close and now in the script editor I'm going to need to apply and there's my image um, so that's how we get these images um, customized I think that actually looks really I mean obviously the <laughs> the name of the instrument is going to need to get moved and I should have seen that coming um, I think this is about 75 pixels, something like that here. And sometimes I'll even put like a black strip behind that um, if it helps or um, to see the images better or something. That actually looks pretty cool, I think. I think that's going to look good once I move the um, text down and... Um, yeah, so I can start. Let me just see if the, um, any of these controls are working yet or not. Don't seem to be. Let me take a look at that and see if I can sort that out real quick. Um, I have these set up to be um, insert effects. Uh, no, send effects, yes. I think they're supposed. I think I had. I need to have these to be um, insert effects, uh, reverb, convolution, delay. Loving the replica delay. Really, um, man, I really love it. Um, all right, I'll just pick a um, standard uh, preset for this um, sorry no reverb preset um, what is symbol all right so let's do like some kind of room sound nothing too long um, long one okay um, let's see how are we doing there we go We check the um, delay time. I usually like to um, set that as an eighth note. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Milliseconds. Um, let me set that to an eighth note for now. Um, and that should be fairly playable. I mean, at this point, it's just a, it's just a symbol instrument so um, but um, I think by the time I'm done with it it should be really cool actually um, we'll see I'm, I'm just still working on it um, anyway if you've hung in there thanks for watching and um, please leave some comments in the comment section and tell me uh, if you want me to do uh, any other type of video or if you've got uh, questions about something that I'm doing uh, let me know thanks for watching